The Myers-Briggs Type Indicator, MBTI, not only gives us insights into our basic personality types, but it also gives us insights into our emotional intelligence, you know, our relationship within our personality. So be sure to watch the videos on interpersonal and intrapersonal factors as related to emotional intelligence. This is going to aid you in developing aspects within this intelligence. Now, this series of videos is going to focus on developmental challenges and some various tasks to employ in order to improve your emotional intelligence and to be more in tune to those around you as well as to yourself. We're going to look at the interpersonal arena for emotional intelligence for the ESTP. Now the ESTP tends to be very focused on a logical analysis of things. They're very pragmatic. They want to have some kind of framework to explain every situation. And in this case, we really need to look at how you can reflect on your commitments, especially to your values and your ideals. And you also want to identify your own feelings and catalog those of others. And the best way to do that is really just step back sometimes and ponder for just a moment on an experience and list out how you may have felt. Also, you want to look at the big picture, the whole picture, an entire scenario. And you want to do that by looking at other things that are associated with the topic. You might want to use mind mapping in order to help you to do that. In the interpersonal arena, this is going to be your arena in where you deal with other people. You really have a great tendency to jump in and quickly find solutions because you're a great problem solver. You're action oriented, which is wonderful. And it also means that you tend to be a risk taker because you are quick and you are action oriented and you need that activity. However, you also need to remember that you need to pursue some empathy. Try to be more empathetic with people who are under you and around you and develop that kind of an understanding. You also need to demonstrate some patience. Because you are very, very quick and you're very masterful in immediate crises, sometimes you get a little frustrated with people who are slower than you. Lastly, remember to support and encourage other people, especially your colleagues. Now, don't support them and encourage them in the way that you think you should. Instead, ask them what their needs are. What is it that they need? Remember that they have their own needs that may be very different than yours. So let's look at some things that you can continue to do, start doing, and stop doing to improve your emotional intelligence. So first, let's be adaptable. Be a little more focused on what you can do instead of being so quick paced. Slow it down just a little bit. Right. Also, encouraging that action. We're not talking about being quick here, but actually completing things task oriented. You're very good at that. So remember that you keep doing that. So something to start doing is remember that you need to show more sympathy and more empathy to other people. This is something that you lack because you have both the sensing and the thinking preferences. It means that you're losing some of that intuition and some of the feeling. You also want to show people and demonstrate that you have strategic views because you're quick and you're very able to make these observations with little thought you need to actually be able to demonstrate to other people that what you're doing, your actions, your concerns have a purpose, that you have a strategy in mind. Let's look at what you can stop doing. Let's stop being patient with other people. Now that goes along with encouraging people to their other needs and also recognizing that people have a different pace than you do. Remember, you are very action oriented, which is terrific for you, but that doesn't mean that everybody needs to fall in line with your pace and with your speed. Also, stop reacting. This is very difficult for you because you are always in the moment, but you need to take a time to step back, think for a moment and say, what can I do to be more proactive in my responses and less reactive in my responses?